For part one of activity 417, you need to make two measurements using your automata box. The first measurement is the length of the follower, which is the red rod that goes through the top of the box that you're, you will be using your cam uh, to raise and lower. Um, so if we rotate to the front, or what's the right of the automata box here, uh, we can see that this is the red follower here. Um, notice that we cannot use the ruler that is in the back there because the ruler only measures from the top of the box upwards. And since the follower is now below the ruler, uh, we can't use that to measure it. So in Onshape, we're going to be using our measurement tool, which is down here, the little tape measure to measure the, the length of the follower. Um, and you'll notice that the roller here, this bottom gray piece kind of gets in the way of us clicking the bottom of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the roller and then choose make transparent. And that'll make it slightly, um, slightly transparent there so that uh, we can click on the bottom to get our measurement. So I'm going to click on the measurement tool. And then I'm going to zoom into the bottom here and I'm just going to click on the bottom circle like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to go up here to the top. I'm going to click on the top circle of our follower. Okay. And zoom out so we can kind of see the whole thing. So the first thing that it gave us was the center distance, which is the, from the distance from the center of the circle that we clicked on on the bottom to the center of the circle on the top, which is the distance that we need. So this tells us um, that the distance for the follower height is three inches and you can even see a dashed line when we highlight over this so notice that that dashed line sh showed us what that distance means and that is three inches so that is your answer for question one um, i'm going to click out of this to get rid of our measurement tool and we will get our second measurement and then click out of the transparent so our roller is back and then just click over here in the space so that nothing is selected so our next measurement, we actually need to get the measurement from the center of this axle, which is a cylinder. So from the center of this axle all the way up to the top uh, of our box right here, we need to get that distance. So I'm going to go back into the measurement tool. I'm going to click on the axle. It doesn't really matter where, just make sure that's the cylinder is highlighted. And then I'm going to click on the top of the box. So I'm actually going to click on this line right here, the very front top corner of uh, that uh, piece that is the top of the box. Okay, and that gives us several measurements. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip this to the right here. And I'm just gonna run my mouse down these to see what the measurements look like. And actually we do need to have this kind of at an angle to see, to make sure it's giving us the straight line distance, not the angled. So notice this one is angled, so we're not going to use that. The blue one there actually looks like it's somewhat close, but if we click right, you'll notice that is the top of the axle, not the center. So that one is just a little bit off. So it, we know it's probably two point something. So if we go down here to this one, the 2.25, and if we zoom in a little bit, 2.25 is it. So notice that one is starting here at the center of the axle and it's going up to the top of the box. So our your answer for number two is 2.25, that is the distance from the center of the axle to the very top of the automata box.